So I don't know if it's just me, but does it just seem like every movie that comes out in Nigeria, especially the romance comedy section, reminds you of some Hollywood movie? I don't know. Let's talk about it. So High Man is a romantic comedy movie. It's directed by Desmond Elliott and it stars Zanelle Zhu. I don't know if I got that right. I think she's Ghanaian. Zanelle Zhu, Nancy Isime and Aina Nwigwe. It revolves around this um, working class lady who is pushing 30, who doesn't have a man, no boyfriend. She gets information from her mom that this family retreat, which is a yearly thing that is planned by the family, is coming up very soon. And her junior sister, who she has this um, competition with, is bringing along her fiancé. Now, she hits the panic button, tells her mother that she has a fiancé as well, which is a surprise to her mother. And so now she has to think of a way to bring a guy in a matter of days to this retreat that is happening in Whispering Palms. Her and her friend now hire a guy, played by Aina Nwigwe, who poses as her fiancé so she, she can be able to present this guy in front of her family now i know you're thinking like yeah we've probably seen this movie before and yeah you're right the movie follows that similar hollywood template where someone is trying to impress someone and that person pays another someone to be, pretend like he or she is someone else you know like yeah you could be thinking wedding dates yeah you could be thinking wedding ringer yeah and this movie too goes in that direction even though it is trying to put in that African or Nigerian setting as the case may be. Now, first of all, when I heard this was a Desmond Elliott movie, I was really excited because I've never really seen anything that he has done. And I have to say, he really does a decent job. There are some nice set pieces in this movie that really go a good way. Even though I have to admit, the first half of this movie had one too many jump cuts. Yeah, and even though, yes, in this video, there are a lot of jump cuts, but I just felt like there were too many jump cuts that I could handle for one movie. Yeah, and you want to say, yeah, they were trying to get this movie going along, but I just thought it was a bit too much. The location as well is not bad. I mean, the filmmakers, they do a decent job of selling Whispering Palms to you with some really nice shots, even though there's a particular shot, and this is just in my own opinion, it's something that I thought I saw. There was this particular shot where it just felt like it came from another movie or from another video. The water was just too clean. The beach looked like it was from somewhere else. But that is my own opinion. I'll leave it for you to make up your mind about what you saw about or about what you thought about that. The actors, uh, for me, Aina Nwigwe, I've seen two or three of his movies in the past. And he, for me, he's not exactly the point of why we are there so I'll, I'll just leave it at that he had a decent performance i'll just leave it at that zanelle zo she plays the arrogant pompous rich kid girl lady without a husband she's the main star in this movie or she is part of the reason why we are here and uh i have to be honest i wasn't too impressed with what i saw it was a bit bland for me uh even though i have to say she was good to look at yeah i, I won't lie man she i watched this movie with my wife i you know where you just have that where your wife too has seen something that she's like don't worry just just look at sound you know <laughs> but bland all the same you know but for me the standout had to be from nancy isime she plays the also arrogant sister who brings along a fiance along for to this retreat and I have to say, man, she killed this movie. She murdered it. As in, like, she just took her, her, her took this movie, put it on an altar, and just killed it. At, in my opinion, that is what I thought about it. But having watched this movie, I have to say, it was very, very predictable. As in, you could literally tell how this movie was going. You could tell, you know, you could just be watching the movie and you could say, okay, that is going to happen next. This is where this movie is going to go. And it would go in that way. It, you, it, it just fulfills that chick formula that we all know and I've seen a hundred times but still still 
it's still an enjoyable flick. It's still something you can take your girl to go and see. And for me, I'm going to give her a man a three. What is your favorite romance Nigerian movie of all time or that you have seen lately? And for you that have seen this movie, do you think it just fulfilled this chick flick template that I was talking about? Whatever your comments, please let us know. Thanks for watching again. Stay blessed and please do something good for a neighbor today. Thank you.